Bulk and Forged is a game studio, marketplace, NFT and DAP ecosystem, and incubator with several games already and more on the way. You can kind of think of it as Steam, but for blockchain gaming, but it's really more than that. Their ultimate goal is to become synonymous with gaming on the blockchain, and so far they've put building ahead of hype, and they've just been absolutely killing it with their developments. Now, the most important metric in any crypto project, the metric that means everything if you have it and you're nothing without it, is adoption. And Vulcan Forged is actually getting a lot of adoption, so let's take a closer look at it. Welcome to DeFi Now, I'm Josh Cross, and if you like crypto and you don't like ads, make sure to subscribe down there with the bell notification so you don't miss out on giveaways like this one. Now this video was one of our community voted videos, so big thanks to Apollo Creed for bringing this up back in August, and I apologize that it took me ridiculously long to get this video out there. That was an amazing call, and Vulcan Forge has done tremendously well since then, and since this video is so late, I'm doing a bonus giveaway of 150 USDC in addition to the 150 cent to Apollo Creed for pitching VF, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Now, all that being said, as always, my videos are not financial advice or endorsements. You gotta make your own investing decisions, and this video is purely informative, not sponsored, and should only be one part of your own research. Now, what is Vulcan Forged? As I said in the intro, Vulcan Forged is a whole ecosystem with an NFT marketplace, a DEX, a gaming studio, a launchpad, and an incubator. The idea is that you have a one-stop shop for an easy to build and easy to play blockchain gaming ecosystem. They not only develop their own games, but they help others launch through incubation and crowdfunding as well. And for users, it's where we can play a variety of different games, access an NFT marketplace for trading all the NFTs within those games, all powered by the Pyre token, which we'll get into in the tokenomics section. Then you have MyForge, which is your home base for your Vulcan Forge account. It's super easy to sign up, just an email sign up, and there's a link below to get started. That's Apollo Creed's referral link since he brought VF to our attention, so be sure to use that and support him. Now, once you verify your email, you're all set, but I highly recommend setting up two-factor authentication. Seriously though, set up two-factor authentication and be sure to back up your codes, because if you lose access to your backup codes, and you lose access to your two-factor authentication code, there's no way into your account. So make sure you do that. Now, MyForge is where you manage your assets, view your rankings, and how much Pyre and Lava tokens you've earned. Then the Vulcan Dex is a Dex specifically for gaming tokens, and it works similar to other Dexes. It doesn't require an account, and to use it, you just connect your MetaMask or other wallet. Because it's still new, and the ecosystem is still expanding, and it's only for gaming tokens, it's currently very limited in the tradable assets. You've got the Pyre token and Lava token, as well as ETH, Matic, and USDC. So it'll be interesting to see which other gaming tokens list on there. Then the Vulcan Verse is the flagship game for the Vulcan Forged. And I'll only cover it on the surface level because there's a lot to it. It really needs a, a video all on its own. It's a nine square kilometer metaverse MMORPG with lore built from Greco-Roman mythologies. The old myths of Roman and Greek gods are fading away. So the Roman god of fire, Vulcan, has recreated the old world digitally. Now, I've always been a fan of Greek and Roman mythologies, and I actually really like the lore here. It's pretty cool. Then Vulcan City is at the heart of this metaverse, and then there are four quadrants surrounding it. The mountains of Boreas, the gardens of Arcadia, the underworld of Hades, and the desert of Notus. Each quadrant is unique in how they look and what building materials are available there. Each plot within them is 20 by 20 meters and you can terraform it however you'd like. Players have already done some really cool work already terraforming and building their plots on it. So it'll be really cool to see how it develops over time and what the actual world ends up looking like. Each land can be upgraded up to seven levels by staking Pyre tokens. And with each level, you have more options how you want to terraform and you get better staking rewards. Now I've linked their Medium article below describing land and leveling in more detail. So check that out if you're interested. And let's take a look at the tokenomics. There are two tokens in Vulcan Forged, Pyre and Lava. As I said, the Pyre token is the primary token within the Vulcan Forged ecosystem. It's an ERC-20 token that's also live on Polygon for cheaper gas fees. Pyre is a utility token with a crap load of utilities, which is amazing to see. It's used throughout the different games, the decks, the NFT marketplace, and you can stake it to earn passive income. The Vulcan Foundation is funding a Pyre reward pool with 10 million tokens released over four years. On top of that, the pool gets topped off with fees from the Vulcan Marketplace, 
fees from the direct sale of endgame NFTs, fees from upgrading your land, Titans, and Olympians within Vulcanverse, and fees from tournaments. It's seriously awesome to see one token used in so many things. This is the same thing Binance does with their BNB token, where they just keep adding new utilities, and it's why that has appreciated such an insane amount over the years, and it's why the Pyre token has taken off as well. At least that's what I think. Then there's the Lava token. This is the primary play-to-earn token, so it's what you're rewarded with not only from playing VF games, but also participating in the various dApps. Every action that earns you XP in the ecosystem also earns you Lava. It's also the token you use for many in-game actions. For example, within Vulcanverse, you use Lava to upgrade your land and gods, and you'll use it to purchase in-game consumables and assets, entering tournaments, and for unlocking different features in different games. You can also earn Lava just by holding a specified amount of Pyre in your wallet, which you can view in your MyForge account. Now on top of that, you can also use gem NFTs to boost the amount you earn, although the barrier to entry for these NFTs is already really high. For the lowest tier basic gem, you need at least 1,000 pyre, which is around $30,000 worth at the time of recording. So I'd like to see some lower tier gems to reward smaller holders as well. Now aside from pyre and lava, I also want to mention XP, which isn't a tradable token, but it's used throughout the ecosystem. XP is required to max out your earnings and in order to level up your account and unlock features in different games. It works alongside lava and it makes it so players can't just pay to win. You need to actually play games and take actions in the VF ecosystem to earn XP. Now, all of that said, I definitely think the token to hold here is Pyre. Lava is what everyone earns for playing, and there are incentives for people to take their lava and put it into Pyre for better rewards. Again, not financial advice, but I'm really impressed with how they had this all set up and how much utility that they are giving to the Pyre token. Now, at the time of recording, it's just under $30 for one Pyre token after running up to almost $50. So now it could be a good time to pick up a bag. Just keep in mind that it could go down further before bouncing up again. So it's your call either way. Now, before we wrap up, let's not forget about that 150 USDC giveaway. In order to participate, check out my tweet about Vulcan Forge that's linked in the description. Give it a heart, give it a retweet, and leave a comment on it about your favorite thing about Vulcan Forged, as well as your ETH address so that I can actually send tokens to you. I'll choose my favorite one, I'll send over the tokens. To be clear, leave your comment on the tweet to participate. Now sound off your thoughts on Vulcan Forged in the comments below. If you made it this far and think you got some value from watching, a thumbs up down there is always appreciated. Thanks so much for watching and keep exploring.